Okay, we are going to bring in some points to Carlson Survey 2020 OEM uh, process them to a scale that we're going to print it out to and set the scale factor for the grid to ground conversion in the software and then annotate and set the settings up where it'll annotate, annotate ground distances between two grid coordinates. So first, let me just import some points. Set a new coordinate. Act like there were no points in there to begin with, and we're going to process that file. So I got a bunch of little points on my screen, and the way I have my project settings set up or my drawing set up is that they come in at the one scale. I've already looked at this job. It's going to require a 24 by 36 sheet of paper at a 500 scale to be able to show everything that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Do that, it's going to adjust all this accordingly. The angle mode is invariant. I'm going to set this one up on a state plane coordinate system. So I'm going to use grid, state plane 83. Because I'm in Arkansas North, this is what we're going to use. That 83 for the Latin long datums. So we're going to come down here and we're going to leave this report pistol scale at a fixed. Back there right now is at 1.00, and we're going to set that. This comes up with our first screen. We're going to go through, calculate combined factor. Oh, it goes in four to five. So let's set so set that real quick. Points set coordinate file. That's three. Okay. Now we're set. Settings drawing setup. Scale factor set, calculate, projection types and state plan in three, we're in Arkansas North, we are going to apply the GO18 to these measurements. And typically on a project that I'll work on, instead of coming up with a scale factor for all these points, I'm just going to use a control point that is easily accessible for anyone else. Which is point number six. Select that. And so we've got our combined scale factor down here. It's already set. We don't have to do anything. But I'm going to create a report. So when you create a report, you're going to get your report formatter option, op, formatter options. I have mine set up to report these four items: latitude, longitude, combined scale, and convergence. You can add other things. You could add the point number if you like. Add the northing, the easting, the elevation. Um, uh, just use these four. Okay. There's four different types of reports you can get. The first one is a display, just a view of text report. It's the one I always save because I will copy and paste this data into my basis of variance statement in on my survey. I'll save it. You can have a spreadsheet view, which we only have one point, so here's your spreadsheet view. You have an HTML report, which gives you the same thing as a spreadsheet view, except in a web page. Table entity. I'm going to go ahead and click that. It won't come up until we exit out of this little dialog box. So I'm just going to just hit OK. And then you have a fancy report reviewer where you can put as much as you want on there, but I don't have to do that. I just use the display view text report. So I'm going to exit. Like I said, all of this is calculated, but we're just going to hit OK. I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to hit OK. So now it's going to ask me where I want that table. I'm just going to put it off in the distance. 
You can format it however you want. I'm just going to leave it alone. And there's the information I need in the table. So, like I said, we've set the scale up at a 500. So let's reprocess, reprocess those points. So we're going to annotate between two grid coordinates and get the ground distance by leaving the points themselves in the grid coordinate format. So let's take a look at the annotation defaults. This is where we're going to set it up. Annotation defaults, we're going to go to distance. And the distance, this is where you can set what layers, the annotations are going to come on, what textile you want to use. And whether or not, you know, what type of distances you're using or converting, and your scale distance options. So the scale distance options would be label first only, which in this case would just be a grid distance. Label first and second, which is the grid distance and the ground distance, or label second only, which would just be the ground distance in this case. If you label the first and second, it's just going to give you two two distances unless you put a prefix in front of it telling you which is which. So I'm just going to leave it on label second only. Okay. I'm going to draw a 2D polyline between 38 and 30. I'm going to annotate angle and distance. Bearing and distance. I'm going to select that line and that should be the ground distance. 30. So if we inverse between those points, we've got two distances down the horizontal distance, which is your first distance in grid, and ground distance, which is in the You still have these two distances down here. This bracket is your second distance. See what it looked like if we did first and second. Change that option to first and second. It's going to give you those two distances, the grid and the ground. I'm going to change that back to my default in the second. Now, we have that. Scale factor set. So you can use the legal description and your points are still in grid, but we're annotating in ground. Carlson was nice enough to include that scale factor in your legal description writer so that when you write it, the distances would be in grid. 